hello everyone my name is Kristen and this is my channel kicking it with Chris and today we are going to be getting into my natural hair journey um, July 16th which when this video comes out July 16th will be tomorrow um, it has been five years since I have been natural or gone like full-on natural so I kind of just wanted to share my journey and all of that good stuff I'm sitting more so to the side because I want to show pictures here so you can have something to reference but before we get into the meat of the video first things first you know the drill if you continuously watch my videos <laughs> the first thing i just want to ask is if you would kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not already i would really greatly appreciate that on top of um if you want to really be on it you can go ahead and hit that bell button that way you can always be notified when i upload a new video so now let's get into today's topic okay <clears throat> so like i said i have been natural now for five years i went natural on july 16th in 2016 um and it has been a journey prior to big chopping my hair i did big chop i didn't do the whole transition thing because i was never good at doing my own hair i always needed help or go to the hair salon like I was just not good at doing my hair I was not the 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 child the little girl that you know played in doll's hair and then that's how you kind of just learn from you know doing things with the doll's hair I was not that that was not me my sister she learned how to corner and all that stuff because she played and did that in doll's hairs and I just did not and so to this day I still don't know how to corner and you know what I'm fine with that because I have gone this far without knowing how to corner my hair and my hair has turned out pretty fine so it's okay so yeah like in 2016 that is when I big chopped and so you will see kind of over here like what my hair looked like before when it was very short obviously so yeah, I didn't know what to do I was constantly washing my hair because it was short um, I didn't know how to keep a curl pattern. That thing was dry because at the time I was in college and I went to school at Temple University. So I was living in Philly and the water there is very harsh. And with me washing it consistently and not knowing how to moisturize and all that stuff, my hair was pretty dry. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Now, I will say that naturally... My hair does tend to grow at a faster rate. I never used biotin. I never took like biotin pills or used like any oils that were infused with biotin. One thing you need to know with that, like if you're going to ingest biotin, like whether it's in gummy form or pill form, the thing with biotin, it helps to strengthen, you know, your nails. It helps to, you know, um, it helps with your skin and it helps with your hair you know people use it to grow their hair do keep in mind that it is not isolated to just your head okay the rate your hair growth rate will grow everywhere when you ingest it now if you do the oil then it you you're isolating it to the one area so if you're going to use biotin i would probably do it that way um if you don't want to grow hair everywhere else so <laughs> or grow it at a faster rate um so yeah, I never used biotin to grow my hair. Um, now in the beginning, I was using Dugrow. And so I do, that may have played a, a part in it. I also was using a hair growth oil that I got from a natural hair symposium at my school. So those things may have helped. Um, but again, like my hair naturally just grows at a faster rate. So I can't really tell you if it made a huge, huge difference in how fast my hair grew. Um, but I did use those. And then for after I ran out of the natural hair growth oil, I started using tea tree oil and jojoba oil. And I would kind of go in between those. Um, now I do not use oils really anymore. Um, I stopped that. I stopped using oils. I want to say like probably in 2019 I don't think I've really used oil in my hair for like the last two years um and it's been doing fine so um 
but I will say, I, I just wanted to say that I have used those oils in my process of doing my hair. I was really, in the beginning when I was doing like using, in the beginning <laughs> when I was like researching how to do this because I wanted to know how to do my own hair. Obviously I was also at school, so I needed to know how to do my own hair. Um, <clears throat> I, you know, was looking up how to like different methods and obviously you look up there's the LOC the lock method or the LCO and like the LCO is more so made for people with low porosity hair so you seal in everything with the oil and then the lock method is you know for people with higher porosity hair but honestly kind of just do whichever method works best for you whether you have high or low um so I was kind of just following that and um I don't do that anymore because like I said, I don't use oils, really. Um, so yeah, and another thing with, I think that just helped with my hair and just keeping it moisturized and keeping it strong was that I deep conditioned, well, once I learned about deep conditioning, I would deep condition my hair every wash day. And um, yeah, I was really on top of it back then i would say now i do a deep condition like maybe every other wash day probably should up that up again but probably should bring that up again but sis is still doing fine <laughs> so and i did a lot of like braid outs and twist outs so that you know i wasn't messing with my hair too much just allowing it to kind of just grow not really manipulating it too too much um, also within my first year, I did not put any heat to my hair. Like I was completely heatless my first year of being natural. And I think that also helped. Um, but then I did, I had my first, the first time I blow, my, blow dried my hair was in 2017. So you'll see a picture here. That was my first time blow drying my hair. And then in 2018, I flat ironed my hair for my birthday and I also blow dried it that year too. Um, and I, I flat ironed my hair twice that year actually, for my birthday and another event that I went to later in the year. So they were not close, like my birthday is in April and the other event was in November. So they had a good amount of time in between from each other. And then in 2019, I, I was about to say last year, and that was not last year, but anyway, in 2019, I flat ironed my hair twice again. Um, I know one was for one event. I don't really remember what the other one was, but yeah. I, oh, I graduated. <laughs> I graduated in 2019, so I flat ironed my hair for that, and then there was an event at the end of the year, so I graduated in May, and then the other event was in December, like the very end of se December, and that's when I flat ironed my hair again, so very far apart from each other, one at the beginning, one at the end. Um, and then I would kind of simultaneously blow dry my hair in between there sometimes, but not really. And then last year, I did not flat iron my hair at all because where the heck was I going in 2020, right? We were in a whole panoramic, so wasn't going anywhere, but I did blow dry my hair at the end of the year in December. Um, I did a full like blowout. It wasn't like my, I went to the hair salon, I got a trim and they blow, blew out my hair. And then this year so far I have blow dried my hair and then I had flat ironed my hair for my birthday and you will see pictures of both of those over here so that has really kind of been my hair journey honestly truly like it has been an amazing journey because it gave me independence like I said like I was not good at doing my own hair. I always relied on other people to do my own hair. So it's nice now that I don't have to rely on people to do my hair. I don't have to really go to the hair salon. Now, not that that saves me any money because we all know these <laughs> natural hair products can be expensive, but just knowing that I can do it myself which was something that for a good chunk of time I wasn't I could not say like obviously I could put my hair in like 
ponytails or things like that but after I, it was washed I was lost in the sauce I did not know what to do like if I wanted to flat iron my hair I needed help I would say even still today I kind of need help with that which is why I go to somebody if I ever want to flat iron my hair but the first times I flat ironed myself but it was it's just so much better when somebody else does it um so yeah like being natural is amazing i know that there are a lot of people who are getting kind of tired of being natural just because it does take a lot of planning it can be a lot of work but personally i find it therapeutic when i'm in the mood like i i don't hate wash days um i would say i'm definitely more of a lazy natural it does not take me hours on hours to wash my hair um I feel like a wash day for me, like wash and style, is probably about two hours. So it's really not that bad for me. And then, yeah, so it has been an amazing, like I said, it's been a great journey. And I cannot wait to see where my hair gets. Like my goal is definitely, <clears throat> my goal is health, definitely. I want it to be healthy. So it but i do want to grow it i would love for my hair to reach waist length flat ironed not curly because then that's just a lot and she's already she's already a lot right now but i would love for my hair to reach waist length flat ironed it's right now flat ironed it's um bra length it's bra strap length so i think maybe i, I think i should get there in maybe like two years <laughs> to get to waist length flat ironed so yeah that is my journey so let me know down in the comments if you how long you have been natural and are you enjoying being natural or are you starting to get a little bit tired of it <laughs> so let me know down in the comments down below and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that's all i have for you guys i love you